quick on Twitter. Just Kareem, just real quick on Twitter, because you guys said you're keeping a close eye on Elon Musk's ownership, and it's the first time we've talked to you since you released the files uh, a few days ago. Is it the White House view that decisions at Twitter were made appropriately uh, in terms of decisions to censor this reporting ahead of the election? Let me, you, you, uh, you mischaracterized actually what I what I actually said and took it out of context when you asked your question. Um, look, when I answered the question, and I already I actually already addressed this um, about uh, how the, the 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 White House and the administration is is seeing uh, what's happening on Twitter. We were we follow also uh, what's going on, just like you guys are reporting, just like you guys are seeing. And what I was commenting to is like, yes, we're we're seeing what is happening, just like you all are seeing what's happening uh, with Twitter. So. Just want to clear that up because you definitely mischaracterized what I said or put it out of context. Um, and so can you ask your question again? Yes. I mean, my question was that you had said, I think, six or so days ago that the White House was watching um, closely the situation at Twitter after Elon Musk's ownership of it with respect to misinformation. And because these files were released um, on the basis of, you know, hack materials clause uh, at Twitter, uh, decisions were made to, to censor reporting leading up to the election. My question was, is it the White House view that these decisions were made appropriately in light of what has come out? Which decisions? By whom? By Twitter. By Twitter on, okay. So, look, we see this as a, a an interesting or a coincidence, if I may, that uh, uh, that he would so haphazardly, uh, Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction. Uh, that is a that is a full of uh, old news, if you think about it. Um, and uh, at the same time, Twitter is facing very real and very serious questions uh, about the rising volume of anger, hate, and anti-Semitism on their platform, and uh, how they're letting it happen. And, uh, you know, the president said last week, more leaders need to speak out and reject this. And uh, it's a very alarming and very dangerous. And But our focus right now is helping the American families. I just talked about what the president is going to be doing in Arizona, talking about the Chips and Science Act, talking about how we're bringing manufacturing jobs back here to the U.S., talking about under this administration, more than 700,000 jobs uh, have been created. Uh, it, it manufacturing jobs, to be more specific. Look, what is happening, it's, it's not... It's, it's frankly, it's not healthy. It won't do anything to help a single American improve their lives. And so, look, this isn't. We we see this as an interesting, uh, you know, cons, uh, you know, coincidence. Uh, and uh, we, and you know, it's a distraction.